Welcome to part one of our WorldCat Discovery Tutorial, presented by the University of Mount Olive Moy Library. In this video, we will be looking at basic searching, basic filters, and basic features. WorldCat Discovery is Moy Library's online catalog, but it also serves as a discovery tool for a select number of databases. You can find articles, ebooks, and videos. From the Moy Library homepage, performing a basic search in WorldCat Discovery is as simple as typing in a term in the Search Moy and Beyond form and selecting the search button. On the left of the results page, there are filters that will help you narrow your results. You may filter the format. You can choose formats like articles, books, and videos. Let's select articles. You may also filter the content type. When you search for articles, you will want to select the full text and peer-reviewed checkboxes. This will grab peer-reviewed articles that you will have full access to through Moy Library. Another basic and often used filter is published year. You can select the pre-listed 5, 10, or 25 years. You may also create a custom range by using the custom year range text boxes labeled from and through. Let's select five years. Notice at the top of the page, the selected filters are shown. On the right of the results page, you will find your search result items. These card style entries are a miniature version of the items page. From this page, it is important to notice if it is stated that the article is available at the University of Mount Olive Moy Library. Once you've selected an item, there will be three buttons above the title. There is the Cite button that will allow you to generate a citation for a number of styles. There is the Share button which will give you the link to this specific page, plus you may email the link to someone. Then there is the Save button, which will save the article to a list. We will discuss lists in Part 3 of this tutorial. The Items page shows the item's publication information, summary, subject headings, and other related metadata. To access this item, you will need to click the View Full Text button in the top right under Access Options. Or you may go down the page to the Access Online section to find all of the options of different databases that hold this item. Once you have clicked one of the View Full Text buttons, you will be taken to the article's permanent location. The database that you are taken to may not look like this one, which is provided by ProQuest. You may find yourself on an EBSCO database like this. Regardless of the database, to access the article, you will want to look for the link or links labeled Full Text. I tend to lean more towards the Full Text PDF because it looks more like the physical journal article. If you are searching for a print book, you will find the call number, which is the book's location on the shelves and its unique identification number, under the Moy Library section below the Items Details section. Thank you for watching. For more information or help concerning library services, please visit umo.edu library.